What's up guys, today we're looking at how to create this mask transition. For this one, you really need a nice shot, which has a part of the video clip wiping across the screen that we can use for a transition. So for example, on this video clip, we have this beam here which wipes across the screen that we can use for a nice transition. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to my effects tab over here, go down to mask and keying, and just add the draw mask effect onto this. So right at the start where this beam wipes across the screen, I'm going to click and add a mask around the edge of this beam. And then also a point up here and a point down here. And then finally one down here. And then over in the draw mask parameters, I'm going to go to view and just click original so that we can see the whole video clip. And then we need to go down to transform and click the keyframe button on all of these. And then also control points, click that keyframe button. Now we can skip forward through the frames and just move this mask so that it sticks to the beam. So on a straight mask like this, we could probably get away with skipping forward three frames. So you can even move on the timeline or you can just use the arrow keys to skip forward a few frames and then just click and make sure this mask lines up with the edge of the beam. Once you've made a few different adjustments, you just want to go back, go back a few frames and make sure the mask is in the right place where it should be. This way, when you get to the end, you won't realize that you've messed it up. Okay, so now if we go back through the frames, the mask should be tracked to the beam the whole time. So let's go over to the draw mask effect and click view and go to composite and then click invert mask. So this should black out the part that we've masked out. And the reason why I do it this way is so that we can use the fill opacity if we need to, to fade out the video. So for example, at the beginning of this transition, the beam doesn't fully wipe across the screen. So I'm going to set the fill opacity to 0%, add a keyframe, and skip forward five frames and turn it up to 100%. So now that part of the video clip just fades away in the background. Now we can drag our second video clip in underneath and you'll see how it reveals the video clip. And on the draw mask effect, I'm just going to turn up the feather slightly to soften the edge of the mask. So now if I play that back, we have this nice mask wipe transition. What I like to do is also add a speed ramp to this. So first we need to right click and turn this into a compound clip. Right here, I'm going to add a speed ramp. So hold down shift and press B and just times the end of this by about four. This will give us a nice smooth speed ramp. And let's just drag these tabs, these tabs here to the end. And then we can do the same to the video clip underneath. Let's add a speed ramp around about here. Hold down shift and press B and then turn the speed up by four as well. And just line up the speed ramp with the end of the video clip and let's move this slider out a bit. So now if I play that back, we have this nice speed ramp mask transition. We can also add some motion blur to smooth this out even more. So if I go to my titles tab, go down to motion blur. This plugin doesn't come with Final Cut Pro, but it's a free download. I'll leave the link to it in the description. We drag this into the timeline and just add it over the sped up part of the transition. And yeah, there we go. That is the finished effect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.